poolside. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, men and women. It is Tiger1286 here, and I'm going to be starting up a new series here, uh, playing some Agrarian Skies. If you um, haven't seen uh, Generic Bees and Direwolf 20s uh, videos of this, then I'm going to give you a little bit of an explanation on uh, what this is all about. So basically, um, this is a Feed the Beast mod pack, but the interesting twist of it is is that it's a sky block as well. So you have to get all your resources from uh, pretty much nothing. So it's really interesting. I've spent a couple hours uh, messing around on a different world, and I decided that um, I want to share this experience with you guys because I've enjoyed it, and I think you guys will too. So without further ado, Let's begin. All right, so another really cool feature with this. Oh, hey, stop it. Stop it. I don't want to listen to him talk. So another cool feature about this is it's got this these this quest set up. And I'll show you that in just a sec, but I want to give a little bit of a shout out to the makers. I'm not going to read all this um the story behind it. It's uh sort of like basically uh, your world got overran with monsters and uh, it got destroyed and you have to rebuild from basically nothing and it got saved by like a couple of weird mages and stuff I don't know you can watch AJ's video if you want the full story on the DLEO but um, Yes, yeah, so the people who made this um, This quest mod are Dusk, VSD, VSWE, and Scott I'm not sure what all these names mean, but I know that they are the ones who came up with the quest questing book and then the the creators of the map and the mod pack are um jaded cat or the jaded one and i think her name is Morvelli morellian I, i'm sorry if i butchered that or no it starts with an m i know yeah morvy i that's just Morvy, I know, um, <laughs> or the cute one apparently. Um, yeah, so they made the map, but let's uh, turn down the music for. Oh, it's already kind of low. Well, let's leave it. Yeah, it's kind of peaceful. But anyways, let's uh, let's go a little bit further into the book. So you've got these quest lists here, but we're gonna start off with the Learning to Skyblock set of quests. And we've got a couple quests here that we can do. We're going to start off with using the book. Now, I, do, I know how to do this already. Um, so, Scott Wears and Lord Dusk. All right. So, those are the people. Um, but, yes. So, we're going to make ourselves a wooden plank. And, thankfully, we've got ourselves a sapling in here and some bone meal as well. So, what we can do here is just plant it on this dirt. But, wait. There's more. I've got a secret. Uh huh. A dirt chest with a single inventory with some more dirt in it. So that's pretty cool. Bet you didn't know that, AJ, huh? I'll show you tips and tricks. All right. Um. Yeah. So let's just knock down a couple pieces of wood here uh, and get started. All right. So that's good for now. We only need a couple here and craft these into planks and claim our reward so we've got ourselves a pick of splinter dreams you know actually this is an updated version of the mod pack because the f the last time i played through this you didn't get a pick for a quite a long time so this is actually really nice because it was irritating having to deal with all these clay blocks and stuff that you couldn't break but uh that's gonna actually be really useful for us uh getting started here so that's cool um, now let's go on to this and the manual submission thing. You can, uh, if they want you to manually submit things, it means it's going to take the item instead of, uh, just checking if it's in your inventory. So, we can manually submit, we're going to lose a plank, but we're also going to get these stuff. Um, and this is the, the quest delivery system, and you can put a hopper on top as well. But I don't think we, I think that there's a way to get around, um to get around feeding, or to get around, what's it called, um, 
to get around placing the hopper down. Actually, we can get it back now with the pick. Before, you didn't get a pick, so you would place the hopper down and have to wait forever to get uh, a pick to break it and complete the quest. So let's just pop that down. And we're going to make sure that we select this task or else the uh, the ODS system isn't going to recognize it. Shift click on it. I said shift click on it. Is that not what I do? Oh, there we go. Just regularly click on it. And that'll place it onto the uh, the quest delivery system. All right, just sec your uh, frames. All right, never mind. We're good. We're good. Uh, sometimes... My my recording software has been acting really buggy lately. I need to get a new one. I'm thinking DX Tori because Vert recommended it to me. But if you guys know any other ones that are uh, high quality and don't cause like FPS lag for no reason, then uh, please let me know because I'm floundering here at the moment with this setup. Um, but yes, yeah, so let's uh, let's throw a. I'll just throw a wood plank in there, and there we go. So we completed that section of the quest, and as you can see, another section popped up here. No help given. So now we need to uh, submit the hopper, and so we can just break it with this pick now. Uh, no worries. And there we go, and manually submit, and we get some rewards. So the way this game works is it's basically a hardcore mode type game, but you, instead of getting just one life, you get... Uh, two to start out with, and these hearts, they're, they um, they act as extra lives. So when we eat this, it's going to give us three lives, uh, adding one to our total lives. Yes, and we also got ourselves a reward bag here. So let's open this guy up and see what we get inside. Oh my goodness! Wow, so we've got a bunch of stained glass. I'm not sure what all we can use this for, uh... Nothing, apparently, but I guess we can use it for some building, I guess, if we want to, if we want to do that. That's kind of cool, though. Awesome. I'll, uh, I don't really have room for it in here, do I? Um, let's open up the book here and see where our next quest begins. So, we need to get a whole bunch of wood here and make these items. And, uh, I'm going to read this, actually, for you guys. In the beginning, you may have noticed you have very little to start with, almost no land, no food, but hey, you have a floor. Be thankful there for that much. Now it is up to you to rebuild the entire planet, or as much as you can before dying. That's really, like, depressing. Like, you know you're going to die. It's just how far you can go before then. But I'm going to make this series last, so I'm not going to die. It's going to be great. All right. To start out with... Yes, to start with, I suggest growing some trees. Oaks will supply you with the apples and the saplings. Leaves and string you will be turning into dirt. Um, yeah, place three barrels outside where rain can fall into them and place other, the other two under cover to create a composting area. Once you have eight spare saplings, you can place them into a barrel to create dirt. You can compost leaves, rotten meat, rotten flesh, apples, wheat, and string. Use any eye to look up some of the recipes. So that's cool. So let's get started on that quest. We need to uh, chop down a couple trees here. Um, but we can actually start with uh, just making ourselves a crafting bench here. And we're going to want to use the uh, crafting station from Tinker's Construct. It works just a little bit better for us. And I'm actually going to pick this guy up and put him in here because I never use this guy. We, we might mess around with him later on, but... Uh, I'm not convinced. I'm going to turn my sounds up a little bit because um, I, I want to be able to hear mobs and stuff. And for some reason, this rain is quiet. And I haven't even placed this uh, rain muffler. If I break it, I wonder if it'll update. Huh. Maybe, some, maybe there's a rain muffler already placed somewhere. They provide you this uh, for specifically for LPRs because they know that it starts off the map raining but speaking of which we actually need to hurry up here pretty quick because we don't want the rain to stop and us to not have barrels full of water so that's the first thing we're gonna make here alright so let's chop down the rest of this tree and hope some saplings drop or else we're screwed but I haven't had any troubles with that so I'm not too worried alright there we go let's uh, run inside and craft some barrels before the rain slows up alright uh, well there that's good for now I want to leave one, uh, one log. 
So we need five barrels, but let's just start off with uh, however much we can make. You know what? I'll just turn the rest of this into uh, that. We can't, we don't have enough for any more barrels, but let's pop this guy outside anyways. Um, where do we want to put him? Let's just uh, throw him down here. That sounds like a good place. Uh, wait for a sapling to drop. Actually, do I have... Yeah, I can make something else on the list real quick here. We're going to need some sticks, and we can make ourselves this. Now, basically what this guy does is he acts like... Um, he basically breaks the leaves quicker, but he also uh, causes them to drop saplings at a better rate. Let's turn the sound down uh, a little bit. It's kind of noisy. There we go. That's a bit better. Uh, so we, we've we already got a sapling. It also makes them drop apples occasionally, um, but not too often. So we've got five saplings now. We're going to need a lot to get started here and actually I'm gonna make sure that I throw some of this stuff in here um, specifically that dirt because we do not want to lose that that's gonna be uh, pretty valuable oh wow that's a weird tree alright it's got lots of leaves though so that's good for getting our saplings uh, so thank you Mr. Crook for uh, dropping some saplings for us here so the the beginning of this game starts out a bit grindy, so after I show you this initial setup, uh, this first episode, I'm probably going to do a lot of harvesting of wood and uh, turning it into dirt and whatnot, but uh, I'd like to at least get a little bit of setup going first so I can show you what I'm going to be doing uh, while I'm off camera. And then uh, I'm just doing that mainly so that the series can progress faster because I don't want to spend five episodes chopping down trees with our fists here. Uh, that wouldn't be very entertaining at all, now would it? So, all right, that's good. Now we've got a little bit more wood. And there. Let's, uh, let's make ourselves a chest so we can get rid of all these uh, stinking glass, glass things that it gave us. Uh, we can put our chest over in this corner. I think that's a good spot. Out of the way. And, yeah. They've got these micro blocks in here, and it's really kind of annoying because you have to waste your pick's durability to break it out of there. Uh, let's, we can throw these in here as well. Um, yeah. Just shift click them all in here. There we go. Oh, we already have a silkworm. That's actually really nice. Uh, awesome. All right, so let's uh, make ourselves a couple of the other um, things on the list. Now, uh, the normal crafting recipe for these guys, these blank patterns, which we're going to need to make some of the tinker tables that it wanted us to create, um, is made like this. But I discovered uh, pretty much by accident that you can make them like this with, with sticks, and that saves you quite a bit of wood starting out. So we're going to make them that way. Um, another useful trick for you guys uh, if you want to sort of follow along in the uh, series. All right, so let's plop down uh, the stencil table first, and then is this the part builder? Yeah, so we're gonna pop that down, and then we're gonna need the tool table next, um, but we need to get some wood, a little bit more. Um, get out of here. Let's make ourselves a, uh, a new crook. This one's almost broken. There we go, and there we go, awesome. Break this open. Now food starting out here is going to be quite a bit of an issue, so we're going to want to get that sorted out as soon as we can within the first couple episodes here, because another thing that's added to this mod is, I'm not sure what mod, or mod pack, I'm not sure what mod adds it, but um, probably some sort of super hardcore type of deal, but uh, basically as soon as your hunger runs out, you're dead. It doesn't give you a, it doesn't like slowly take away your hunger like it does in vanilla Minecraft. It just instantly kills you when your hunger bar fall, um, when your hunger bar empties completely. So we need to keep a good eye on that. And I can see that it's already started going down just a little bit. So we're gonna eat one of these apples. Also, the food values, um, the the amount of hunger, or I don't know. The amount of hunger bars that each food gives you is lowered in this, so apples uh, are not a good food source starting out for us here, uh, although we may need to rely on them for a little bit. Alright, so we've got a little bit more wood. We should be able to finish up with the rest of the recipes. Let me see which I've not gotten. Just a tool station. Awesome. So we can uh, make the tool station and then put the rest into barrels. Awesome. Uh, 
need ourselves a crafting bench and there we go tool station now let's turn the rest of these that we've got into barrels just one more it looks like I'll have to uh, make a couple more because I really don't want to uh, run out before it starts raining because we're gonna need some water starting out here um, alright so let's plop this guy down and then accept our reward alright uh, so we get to pick one of these two uh, so normally these quests will have just their normal rewards and they'll also have a like a pick one type deal and the first time I went through this I was tempted to grab the axe of despair however I noticed that in the next quest you get an axe so we're actually gonna go with the frying pan which is a weapon and uh, that's gonna actually be pretty useful to us starting out so we've got a quarter of a heart and you can craft these uh, if you get four of these you can craft them together to make a full heart can canister container whatever uh, you want to call it uh, just like you would ex uh, assume with a uh, quarter of a heart uh, so we've got our pan of destiny it's a pretty low level but a neat thing that's added uh, in this mod pack is the ability to level up your weapons um, you your weapons get individual XP by getting used so if I whack a mob with this, it's going to slowly level up, and the skill level is going to go up. Right now it's at clumsy, but as soon as I level up, it's going to start uh, adding more and more traits to this pan of destiny. So pretty soon, I think it's going to be rocking some uh, pretty heavy attacking power. Uh, we also have our reward bag here. Now let's see what we got. We got a Respiration 3 piece of paper. Um, thank you for that. I'll put that to good use. No, I won't. Um, let's chop down another tree here and make ourselves a couple more barrels and then let's move on to the next quest. All right. Uh, just break this. We do need quite a bit of sapling, so I'm just going to break all the leaves this time. Um, like uh, the book said, you need saplings early on to make dirt. And dirt is uh, basically gonna be uh, your basis for getting all resources in the game uh, there's a mod in here called ex nilo and it's got a really interesting chain of progressions uh, that you can follow through by putting uh, putting dirt through different like sort of uh, like scraper type deals uh, sifting mechanisms and they're pretty uh they're all manual so it's kind of uh it's kind of a slow process kind of irritating and that's why I'm going to be doing a lot of that off camera but let's check out the uh the next quest here so smooth as took smooth as silk pardon me string is the gateway to all resources fishing rods will provide food sieves are used to sift dirt gravel sand and dust to obtain stone ores and other resources to get string, you will need to break leaves with your crook until you receive a silkworm, which we luckily got. Right-click a leaf block on a newly grown tree with the silkworm. Walk away, and then it'll start infesting the leaves, and soon enough you'll have a fully silkworm-infested tree, and it'll drop string when you uh, when you break the leaves. So yes, so we need to get all these stuff, but uh, first we need to set up a little bit of a tree situation. Uh, let's uh, get our barrels in place. I think it stopped raining. Ah, that's that's irritating. All right, that's just enough. Is uh, oh no, it's still raining. Pretty cool. Very good. All right, let's pop down. Sorry for the phone ring. I can't do anything about that. Let's pop down these ones in here. Uh, get out of here. Break this apart. <sighs> Stinking phone. I hate that. Um, put that in there. So we've got some more saplings in here. And actually what we can do is we can take these, put them in the oak barrels like that. And eight of them, this will eventually turn into dirt. It takes a little bit of time, so I'm not going to wait here for it. But yeah. So let's grab another piece of dirt here. Um, and we're going to find a place to uh, put our second tree um, I'm actually thinking that I might want to uh, build out, but for the current moment, uh, just for video's sake, I'm going to just throw it um, right 
why not right over here? Uh, this way, if saplings drop from this farm or this farm, not farm, tree, actually, never mind. This is a little close to the edge. That was dangerous. I should have uh, been more careful with my dirt. Um, man, there's so little room on this little island here, but I guess that's the point of Skyblock is making use of room. Uh, so actually, we can just throw this guy here. This seems like a pretty uh, good place where we're not going to lose a whole bunch of saplings or um, string when we get it. So let's pop the silkworm in there and at, while we're waiting for that to go we can start up another quest I think. Um, or maybe not start up. Yeah we're kind of trapped here while we're waiting for this to go. Um, but yes. Alright so let's uh, let's pop down some more trees here while we're waiting for that to spread. And then we will uh, then we will be able to uh, gather some string and move onwards. And actually, I think I'm going to cut for this part because it's just going to be kind of boring uh, me chopping down chopping down those trees and whatnot, waiting for that to spread. And I'll be right back. All right, so it looks like those uh, silkworms have finished up their dirty job of uh, infesting that tree over there. I've just been over here chopping down uh, trees and collecting saplings. Uh, with these crooks and now I think I'm gonna make another one because this one's gonna break before I can harvest all those leaves there we go that should actually do us oh and let's pick up this dirt block as well and uh, we can throw them in there that can be our dirt chest and chest for random things so this most of these leaves sh should drop a string now as you can see that's pretty awesome and uh, this water downward to currents man I hate them sometimes when you uh, when you tap the leaves they'll change colors but that's just a visual effect uh, it doesn't actually mean anything so don't worry about it um, just continue hacking away as long as you've seen that it's uh, white at some point there should not be a problem um, sorry about some more door noises I uh, nothing I can do about that Oh, did I lose some into the void? Oh, also be very careful about these uh, ledges because they're made of micro blocks and sometimes micro blocks do not uh, work with shift click. So that's kind of uh, kind of dangerous. Something you should be aware of. I really don't want to lose any of these uh, string. Oh no, dang it. I need some sort of like treasure magnet or something that'd be uh, really useful especially in skyblock all right let's bust this guy open we're actually gonna need to plant another tree but we can uh, and infect that but we can get started with some of this string here so that's pretty cool and oh there was some string hidden up there awesome all right, so let's plant another one of these trees. I actually ran out of bone meal, um, at least the first stack. We've got a couple more stacks here, but we're going to need to uh, set up a skeleton system pretty quickly off the bat so we can uh, maintain a steady source of wood and, uh, and return dirt. We also got a bunch of silkworms from that, so uh, that's pretty cool. There we go, infested, and let's actually uh, spread this around a little bit so it infests a bit quicker this time around there we go and we'll save for uh, for whatever we may need uh, no nope, I want to keep that uh, I'm gonna need some more chests here pretty soon we're already getting filled up on inventory but let's see what did it all want us to make a fishing rod a wooden hammer and a bed I think that the first thing we should make though actually is probably uh, mm, I'm torn between the sieve and the fishing rod Truthfully though, the fishing rod is probably the most important thing right now because as you can see, this is going to be the last of our food right now. You just witnessed it. We are completely out of food. So a fishing rod it is uh, more from circumstance than anything else. I would have liked to go with the sieve. But yes, we can also make ourselves a bed. So let's go ahead and do that. The sieve is going to require that other tree though. Uh, need some planks. There we go and there we go hey there we go now we've got our fishing rod and our bed let's just pop our bed right in this corner over here break up this fancy redstone brick post in my way and get out all right 
And what else do we need? I think we need a hammer. That's a really easy thing to craft as well. And uh, we'll get into that into uh, probably next episode. Uh, but yeah, so this guy's going to be very important starting off the bat here. Let's see. And now we just need the sieve. So let's check on how the tree is coming. It's already spreading fairly well. But actually, I think that that's going to do it for this episode, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed. Next episode, we'll start off by making the, ourselves a sieve. And uh, I'll probably, be in between episodes, just harvest some wood and some uh, saplings to prepare for the upcoming, uh, for the upcoming stuff that we're going to need to do and for next episode. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of Agrarian Skies. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy. And if you really enjoyed it, maybe even think about subscribing, uh, perhaps. It's kind of a, it kind of helps me. So I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Full -bye.